All right, guys, I'm going to do the Libra reading for today. Um, November 2018, Libra general reading. Again, you can uh, use this if your Libra is an ascendant, sun, moon, Venus, or Jupiter. If you're unsure of what that is, uh, that is your birth chart, and you can actually find that online, so just Google it. Uh, if you want a personal reading, which might actually resonate with you better, uh, you can email me at queenofswords853 at gmail.com. Or you can click on my Facebook page link, which I'll post below once I'm done uploading all of these videos. Um, Alright, so Libra, what can you expect for the month of November? Let's see. Got a lot of Libra friends, I guess. Past energy, three of pentacles in reverse. Six of swords in reverse. And the empress in the upright. Present energy, you have the devil. Knight of wands. And the page of cups in reverse. Future energy, you have the hierophant. The hanged man in the upright. And the Knight of Swords in the upright at the bottom of the deck, you have the Magician. Um, all right, great. So let's see, Libra. It looks like uh, in the past, you are the person that you are probably thinking about when you're, uh, when you're looking at this reading. Uh, fail to manifest some type of family. This this card in the upright to me is somebody getting baptized. This is tradition. Uh, maybe your beliefs and the person's beliefs that you're talking to or uh, interested in, they're not the same. Uh, because this is a church and these are pentacles. Okay, so that's total opposite. So and that's in the reverse. So that's past energy. Another past energy I see here is the Six of Swords in the reverse. So it looks like you or the person you're dealing with has failed to walk away from something. Uh, or you guys can't walk away from each other. Even though there is this kind of like disconnect in beliefs or in traditions, you guys can't walk away from each other yet. Why this is, is because somebody here is interested in having children. This is a pregnant woman. This could also be a Taurus that might be influenced in the situation. Um, this person is the Empress. Uh, this person is uh, the highest uh, queen of them all. Uh, this person signifies material wealth. Somebody's knocking at my door, so you guys are gonna have to wait one second. I'm busy! Who is it? Yep, every time for Libra this shit happens. So let me, let me, sorry, somebody was here real quick. So, let me get back to the reading. Alright, so, where was I at? Present energy, the devil. Alright, so you or this person might think that this situation is toxic. Or something might be holding you guys back. Could be a Capricorn. The Capricorn might be involved in this. Maybe you're talking to a Capricorn or that person's talking to a Capricorn. Um, so, yeah. Or there's some kind of toxic energy in here. This is in the present. Uh, next is the Knight of Wands. So the person you might be dealing with, or this could be you, is impersonating the Knight of Wands, which is a fire sign. Um, usually Sagittarius, or you might be dealing with a Sagittarius. Uh, this person is very in and out, so they might seem like, and they're not a king. So they're, since they're a knight, I would say they're a little immature. Um, and don't take commitment very seriously. So this could be you or the person that you're dealing with. And the reason why that is, is because they're not really in touch with their emotions. You or this person, or they're having problems dealing with their emotions at this time. So this is the, the present. Now for the future is the higher front. 
The Hierophant also signifies the Taurus. It could also be commitment. So maybe you have commitment on your mind or this person has commitment on their mind. Or you're dealing with some kind of Taurus or person that has Taurus in their chart. Next on the future energy is the Hanged Man. You or this person um, are kind of thinking, I'm going to sit back and uh, see what, what happens. Um, just kind of contemplating. All right. So that's the future energy. You're contemplating. You're this person's contemplating. So maybe this person is communicating with you or trying to communicate with you. But at this time, you're just sitting there and looking at the messages like, okay, I don't know what I'm going to do about this person. Because she seems like, a, or he or she seems like a very toxic person. But I see myself with this person long term. So you guys are having some mental problems here. At the end of this uh, future energy, you're going to rush in with a message. And this is your energy, Libra. So this is you coming in. You're going to tell them something. This is a fast-moving communication message. You could be dealing with an Aquarius because Aquarius is the magician. Could also be a Gemini or a Virgo. Uh, but communication is here. The magician is the person that manifests things into reality. Okay. Uh, it's also a one. So this could be your t twin flame. And if you don't know what a twin flame is, research it. So, looks like you're going to manifest something into your life with all the tools you have after you've come out of this hanged man mode. Now you're ready to be the magician. So you had some kind of inspiration and you're going to manifest what it is that you want. All right, Libra. So that's pretty straightforward. Let me do three cards. Three oracle cards for Libra. I don't feel like I need to clarify anything here. Uh, the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. So how about, since you're feeling so conflicted about this whole situation and unable to walk away from this person, this empress, why don't you express yourself through creative activities? So why don't you express yourself to this person differently than you have before when you come out, when you come with this, uh, Knight of Swords. All right. The, the situation involves your past life memories. So you might have known this person in the past. Or this could be a past life connection. Again, this could be a twin flame because this is the one. The magician is the one. So past life. And last one for Libra. Easy does it. There's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in, in perfect timing. So divine timing is at work here. With this hand, man, take your time, Libra, because the situation is a little complicated, but there's a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? All right, Libra, so, oh, here's one last one that just came out. Home, your household situation is improving, either through a move or a healthy change in the occupants. Oh, so that's kind of good. That's good news. All right, Libra, so have a nice uh, November, and again, if you need a reading, again, this is a general reading. First of all, second of all, if you need a reading, you can email me at Queen of Swords 853 at gmail.com or um, you can click on my Facebook page, which is Queen of Swords Divination. I'll have some links posted up once I'm done with all the readings. And again, I'm sorry we were rudely interrupted, but this always happens on the Libra reading. So I'm not, I'm already used to it. All right, guys, I'll see you in December. If I feel like I need to clarify anything else, I will let you know. Bye, Libra.